Hello. Hey world, how's it going? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is the last of our convenience store food videos. Yeah, it's actually our last day in Japan. Mm. Where did the time go? 58 well, days. Like, it's been a while. Gone. Um, yeah, Crazy. so we thought for our last video we would show you breakfast because yep. we've already had lunch and dinner at three different convenience stores and they actually have a lot of unique breakfast food items. So today yeah, they sure do. You can get you can get a breakfast here in Japan from 7-Eleven. You can mm -hmm. get any, like savory items. You can get sweet items. You can get warm items, cold. You get your coffees, your iced coffees. Your I think this is like a, a watery liquid yogurt, liquid, liquid yogurt. yogurt. There's a lot going on. So yeah, we've got a few things that I do recognize, like a little burrito, some hash browns, an egg muffin. Yeah. And we also found some weird stuff, like this oh, sandwich. It's yes. like a yeah. hot dog bun. I'll open this for you. It's basically filled yeah, with a hot dog bun, and there's like butter, butter and too. there's red, the, red, the bean paste. red bean paste, and the azuki that's, beans. That's something new, <laughs> something different. I've never had that. And then um, there's a, a, a multicolor muffin. Multicolor chocolate vanilla muffin. Yeah. Some yogurt. What is that? Cafe oh, it's a latte. cafe latte. It's uh, it's basically an iced coffee. It has so. sunflowers and maybe caramel. Yeah, it does have caramel for sure. And this looks like, ooh, it's like a milky in color, like yellow milky. Yeah, I, I picked this one up for us. It has very low calories, only 17 calories for 500 milliliters. And it has a picture and of a pineapple, pineapple orange, and apple. orange apple. So we'll see what that's all about. Yeah, so let's dig on in. Dig on in. I'm going to start with the egg, muff egg McMuffin. Egg Mc Egg Mc Seven Eleven. <laughs> egg muffin. Egg muffin from Seven Eleven. So yeah, we microwave this, and yeah, it's basically like cheese, a slice of ham, some yeah. egg. Ooh, mayo. Maybe mayo. I'm gonna try my hash brown. Mmm. It's not bad. Mm. It's kind of similar to what you would get at like a McDonald's or something for breakfast. Yeah, this isn't bad either. I'll let you try this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, I'll try this. How's this one? That's good. Yeah, the mm. convenience stores here in Japan have microwaves, Whoa. so they heat up the food for you if it's a hot item. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's got a nice slice of ham in it. Mm -hmm. Check that out, guys. It's pretty thick. Yeah, thicker than McDonald's. This, however... I'll try this breakfast burrito. This tastes a little bit mm. like a dry, almost cardboardy. I feel like this could have been in the, the hot oven maybe since last night. <laughs> or like really early this morning. It's been in there for a while. Let me try this one. What is that? This is a breakfast burrito. It's got cheese and ham. Okay. I like it. Why are you doing that? Mm. It's iced coffee ready. Ooh. Good Those man. are some big chunks of ham with pepper. Yeah, this I'm is surprisingly good. I'm impressed with their with the warm items that you can get mm -hmm. so far. The burrito or the breakfast sandwich. Ash Brown's just been in the was in the was in the grill for probably a little too long. I mean, I'm still gonna eat it, but it's not amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. It's almost like having a milkshake coffee. Does it taste like caramel or sunflower? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. caramel. I'm gonna try that next. I'm enjoying this breakfast burrito. Let's see what this is all about. Sandwich. I don't like calling it a burrito. Wow. <laughs> that has lots of caramel. Life changing. You know, I've been drinking a lot of these. Like, I first discovered them probably in Tokyo. Yeah. And yeah, whenever I go into a convenience store in the morning and I'm craving something sweet and to give me some energy, Jolt I'll get one of these. But then the thing is, I don't have a very good reaction to coffee. And then I'm just like <laughs> really jittery and a bit jittery anxious. Jittery all day. So I enjoy it while I'm drinking it, and then a few hours later I start feeling the effects and it's just like, why did I do this? So today I'm only going to have a sip because yesterday I had one and then I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I love my coffee, um, so I'll gladly accept this. Yeah, so next I'm going to try the yogurt. I wonder if it's like blueberry yogurt or milk flavored like blueberry. That's a bit of a mystery to me now. Well, you know when your hands so are so refreshing. greasy that you can't even open the straw. <laughs> Yes, we're both at that level. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those ones you poke in as well. Yeah, and I want to show you guys the straws here in Japan. They're kind of like collapsible, yep. collapsing straws. Look at that. So you just pull it and then you have a longer straw and then... Boom. Boom. Bullseye. Let's see what this is all about. I have a feeling it's going to be milk. No, that's yogurt. Is it? That's thick and it's mm. got chunks of blueberry mm. in there. There's real blueberry in there. Yeah. That's awesome. Like big chunks of like pulpy mm. blueberry in there. 
That's the best part. This is pretty good for breakfast. I'm gonna say. Yeah, a lot of these items we're trying for the first time, so. Mm -hmm. Wow. So why don't you show this one? Mm, okay, I love opening these. Yeah. Okay. What is it? So, this is called onigiri, and it's a rice triangle wrapped in seaweed. And you can get it with different fillings. This one says salmon, wasabi, and mayo. And yeah, we, we, we were sold at salmon and, and yeah. wasabi. <laughs> it has like little numbers on top. I don't know if you can see, but there's one, two, three. So if you want to open it properly, first you pull the number one tab straight down. Yep. Then you pull off two. Then you pull off. Three. Oh. Sort, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> it's just basically, it's it's rice with a filling inside. Yeah. And then you have the nori, the seaweed dried wrapper. And I feel like I mentioned this in another food video we filmed, yeah. um, but basically this wrapping inside, like it, it separates the seaweed from the rice so that the seaweed doesn't get all soggy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the seaweed only touches the rice once you remove the wrapper, which I think is pretty genius. Give me a bite of that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at the filling in there. Mm -hmm. Is it good? I think it's canned salmon. Oh yeah, it's not like... Yeah. It's not like... It looks or... a lot like tuna, but a bit mm. more pink. I do really like this. It's like, this is a really reliable kind of mm -hmm. snack that you can mm -hmm. add to any meal. You can have this for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can have it as a snack. Coming home from work, you're a little bit peckish. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it. Are you? Yeah, I'm there's a kick. I'm not tasting it. There's a little kick. It's, it's subtle. It's subtle. You it's probably ate the whole wasabi. <laughs> yeah. It might have been right in the bullseye area when I finished it. Yeah. What do you think? I'm just not getting any wasabi. So yeah, this is probably the most Japanese item out mm -hmm. of everything we've chosen. Except for that hot dog bun with beans. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to try that next. You wanna start with that? Yeah, but I'm getting a little first thirsty. Thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little thirsty. So I'm gonna try this one. It does have a, a milky kind of color. Suspicious. Oh, it smells pretty. Does it taste milky is the question. I feel like that yeah. can be... You ate all the hash bit. brown? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I thought you, you said you didn't really like it. I know, I but I said I was going to eat it anyway. Jeez. Well, snooze you lose. You know how it works with us. That's strange, mm. huh? I don't even know how to describe that really well. It's almost like chalky. Mm. It's like a fruity juice. That's chalky. And like that creaminess tastes chalky whatever yeah. that is kind of tastes like the the, the flavor of, of a juice you get from the bottom of like a like tin tin fruit fruit cans let's move on to this we All need right. to try this let's just break it in half there and go. both Dig in. bite in Ugh, I'm I'm, i know i'm gonna like this i i, I love red bean so mm. Mm. that's good Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, to be honest, I would prefer to have red beans in like a mochi ball or in some other form, an ice cream. A pastry, a croissant. But this works. I don't like it. Oh, I like it. I one. just think it's like really cheap bread, like a super cheap oh, yeah. hot dog bun. Well, the, this one was one of probably the cheapest items we had. Look at all that butter. I don't even think it's butter. I think it's margarine. Mm. It doesn't taste I'll nice. I'll take it. I'll eat it all. <laughs> And we also have this muffin from the baked goods section. Mm -hmm. Break it in half. Okay, ooh, it has chocolate chunks. Oh wow. I'm trying to bite a chocolate chip in there. But again, I don't love it. No, it's a little dry. I find it yeah, a little dry. Yeah, there's something off about the texture. Well, it's just, it tastes processed. It's not yeah. like, the thing is I'm used to my mom baking muffins. Mm. I'm used to fresh baked muffins, so yeah. if you give me um, like something that's been sitting yeah. on the shelf for several days, it's just not the same. It's not like it's terrible, but I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it again. Yeah. Okay, so now question. What is the best breakfast item that you've eaten in Japan over the last few months? Anything. Oh my gosh. Think, Think about, about that. that. Yeah. Oh. I like a traditional Japanese breakfast where you get your rice, you get your fish, you get your miso soup. Mm. Definitely I would go with a tr traditional Japanese breakfast if mm -hmm. I was going to be recommending it for someone or to get it myself. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is that you can find these little places like as you're walking around, kind of like hole in the wall restaurants, you go in, a lot of them they had the like the, the vending machine order where you would order it. Oh yeah. You just press, mm -hmm. put your coins in, you get a little slip of paper, mm -hmm. you would take that to the server. And then you just sit down and mm -hmm. your your breakfast would come and you would get unlimited amounts of tea. Mm -hmm. And it was just like so reasonably priced. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite breakfast in Japan. I would agree. Like when we first arrived in Osaka, mm. 
we found this place not too far from our apartment and you would basically get a breakfast set with like the rice, the miso, the grilled yeah. fish. They mm -hmm. had some tofu with grated ginger. Boom. They also had that like weird sticky bean. Boom. I didn't love that. <laughs> and then they also had like that weird. Oh, was that natto or something? Is natto or something? I think something? so. Yeah. There was something that was kind of like Boom. a white porridge or semolina. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that part either. Or the raw egg. But everything else was. <laughs> everything really else was alright. Everything else. did like three things. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite breakfast for sure. Mm. We haven't had that here in Kyoto. We, haven't we been, just haven't found the place like there's that. nothing nearby uh -uh. we're in a very like uh, residential area yeah okay now another question mm -hmm. what's the worst breakfast you've had in japan has there been something that you were just like oh my gosh i can't finish this to be honest no no i, I can't i can't think of anything we've actually we, mo we mostly eat our breakfast in inside and so we, it's mostly self-catered mm -hmm. we mostly just do fruit nuts Sometimes like whatever's available, whatever's left over from dinner. <laughs> so no, there hasn't been a breakfast that I've like despised or anything. But I mean, if again, if I had the choice between traditional and like this with all the processed stuff, I would go traditional. Traditional. Is there anything you didn't like? Mm, well, I was just thinking of those sticky beans. We have a natto. It was just like strings of stickiness. It almost looked like the beans were drooling, you know? It, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was tricky to eat. It didn't taste like much. It's one of the few foods in Japan that we really just didn't, it didn't click with us. Mm -hmm. And I don't think ever would. Like some things are an acquired taste. You don't like it at first, but you keep trying them and then you eventually like you know, you start to like it over time. Mm -hmm. But that, I, I, I don't think I'd ever enjoy that. Well, I think we did pretty well with this breakfast. Them. Oh, Audrey, I just gotta, I gotta like chime in. We forgot about a real calm breakfast. That was the best breakfast. Oh yeah! By far. By oh far. my gosh. How did we forget yes. that? That was by far the, the best The real calm breakfast, it was <laughs> basically like this spread with a whole bunch of like little dishes. Like we must have had like 15 dishes on the table. And it's you could incredible. just like try a little bit of everything. And they even brought beef. Yeah. And this like pan and we had to like cook the beef ourselves. That was good. Yeah, that was that was hands very, down very the best. good. And I feel like it was yeah. very healthy. There were very lots healthy. of like little vegetables and pickled items. It, and like all the plates were so small that you could you could kind of finish everything and not feel like, yeah. stuffed at the end. Yeah. So I, I really like that. I left breakfast feeling very satisfied that day. That was good. So hope you guys enjoyed our little convenience store breakfast tour. <laughs> from 7-Eleven mm -hmm. and um, yeah we'll see you guys our next video is going to be a travel a walk home. travel day we are going back to Canada yeah. Um, yeah I'm really excited to go back home to see my family see the dogs see yep. Togo so yeah it'll be fun we'll see you guys in the next video going from Osaka to Vancouver to Toronto. Toronto indeed bye, bye. <laughs>